Today the subject is bacteria. There are bacteria everywhere. In one milliliter of fresh water, there's about a million cells of bacteria. There's more biomass of bacteria on Earth than the combination of all plants and animals on the entire Earth. They're everywhere. Even though bacteria are everywhere, today I want to show you some parts of your house that have more or less bacteria. I'm going to do this through an experiment. Okay, today I'm going to be testing how dirty common household items are. So how I'm going to do this is I'm going to use a triptic soy agar kit. Um, so I'm going to sample household items and spread the bacteria or fungus on here and we're gonna see how many colonies form. Since bacteria and fungus are so small it's not like you can go around counting how many are on each object. So what you do is you spread it on these agar plates and you let it grow and then you count how many colony forming units there are. Small little areas start growing on the agar kit, I mean on the agar plate. And then you determine if there's more colony units, that means that there was more bacteria to begin with. I'm gonna get it, and I'm gonna do one, two, three, and one, two, three on each of them. Okay, so for dry surfaces, you get the Q-tips wet. These are sterile Q-tips that I just opened after I washed my hands. The first thing I'm gonna test is my wife's iPhone. Surface of it. Okay, next I'm getting the kitchen sink. This is just going to be representative of the sink area that you're touching. You might reach in here, grab some dishes. This is also freshly cleaned. Um, we'll see how dirty it is though. You grab some stuff up there. Okay. One, two, three. One, two, three. Oops, I broke the agar. Okay, this is my mouth. <laughs> okay, here is the floor. Get a good swipe all around the front door. Okay, this is my toothbrush, the bristle end of it. Rub it all in there. Okay, I'm gonna do my skin. There's a gross part of my skin. Your armpit. Your belly button. Skin. Our belly button's and gross. Belly button. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm gonna do the toilet. I'm gonna go inside the toilet on this one. All around. Okay, this is my son's stuffed animal. His face. Okay, here is our family remote control. Okay, you store them upside down in around 84 degrees Fahrenheit for one to four days. We'll check in on them and see how they are. After 24 hours of being in my garage, let's take a look at what they look like now. Okay, this is the sink. It's by far the dirtiest. At 24 hours, it's pretty much covered everywhere that I touched the Q-tip to. Q -tip to. Next dirtiest is the toilet. You can see a bunch there. Surprisingly clean still is the skin, my armpit, and belly button. Aside from those three, there isn't much growth, so let's look at it after one more day. Okay, so we're at 48 hours now. Um, there's a lot of stuff growing, so I'm needing to do some estimations here. Um, the toilet's really growing a lot. My mouth is growing a lot. Uh, the way I'm estimating is I'm counting per strip how many there are and then multiplying it by how many times I did it. Um, so we're getting up there. So far the cleanest thing that doesn't have any growth at all is my toothbrush and my skin has only one colony growing. And after one more day we're ready to look at the final results. 
Okay, this is 72 hours later. This is the sink. Uh, it really stinks. This one's been growing actively since a few hours into it. Next we have the toilet. It's really covered now too. Still not as much as the sink though. Okay, this is the mouth. So the mouth has a lot of small colonies, but not growing very fast. Not covering a lot of the plate. Okay, this is the iPhone. If you can see in this corner here where my finger's pointing, that's a mold colony growing. So we had some mold on the iPhone. The rest look like bacterial colonies. Okay, this is uh, my son's puppy stuffed animal where my finger's pointing again too. That's a, looks like some type of mold growing also. But we also have a good amount of colonies on this one. The remote started growing some. This one's kind of interesting. You probably won't be able to tell, but that big white one is actually lifted off the surface. I'm guessing it's not bacteria. It's probably some type of mold, but I don't know what it is. You can't tell, but it's lifted off the surface. I mean, it's rising up off the surface a little bit. Okay, here's the doorknob. This one's not too bad. Some big colonies in the middle, some small ones. Not a lot overall. The floor has a good amount of colonies on there. Not growing very fast though. This one is a little surprising. This is my skin, this is armpit and belly button. Only a few colonies there. Very clean compared to the rest of them. Okay, and the winner is, for the cleanest out of all of them, my toothbrush. So it hadn't had any colonies up till now. I, there's one colony after 72 hours on the right over there. So your toothbrush is the cleanest thing in your house based on my experiment. So here are the final results. On the left axis we have the number of colonies. Notice that this is a log scale. So each tick mark there, it goes from 10 to 100 to 1,000 colonies. That means that a bar that's twice as high as another bar has 10 times as many colonies. The different colors on the graph represent the different time periods that I measured. So blue was at 12 hours, red was at 24 hours, gray was at 48 hours, and yellow was at 72 hours. So the final results are on the back in yellow. In the end, the sink was completely saturated by 72 hours. The toilet had 600 colonies. The iPhone had 74. The floor had 97. The doorknob had 24. The remote had 42. My mouth had 1,500. My toothbrush had only one. My son's puppy stuffed animal had 222. And my skin had only eight. So by far the all-time dirtiest of all of these objects is the sink. The sink is just covered with bacteria. Next after that is the toilet. The toilet is as expected dirty inside of it, but your sink actually has more bacteria in it than your toilet does. And the all-time winner is the toothbrush. My toothbrush had one colony growing. It's cleaner than everything that I had measured in my house. This is most likely due to the toothpaste that gets put on the toothbrush every night and washes away the bacteria. The mouth ended up with a lot of colonies, but they didn't grow very quickly, so I'm calling the toilet dirtier than the mouth. And finally, one disclaimer here is that I'm using the term dirty very loosely here. Um, this just me measured bacteria and fungus or mold in general, but it doesn't talk about the dangerousness of the bacteria. There can be different types of bacteria that are more dangerous and some that don't harm you at all. So this is just a pretty good estimate of the number of bacteria, but not the kind of bacteria that are in your house. Okay, thanks for watching my video today. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, subscribe to my channel. Even if you didn't enjoy it, subscribe anyways because it's free. <laughs>